y'all, it's an entire wall of Malbrico. It just keeps going and going. Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today we're gonna be not really even talking about, but I'll be showing you pictures and little quick clips of what we did in Asheville. I don't know if I'm gonna remember to put music behind it. I don't know, but it is what it is. But before we get started with all the pictures of the yarn shop and uh, what was at the Folk Art Museum, the Appalachian Folk Art Museum. I did want to show you guys what I got at the yarn store. So I, was, I always say I was like very disappointed because like the store that was open was fantastic, but one store was closed. One store is closed permanently. One store <laughs> um, is by appointment only. And the other store is going out of business and wasn't open. And I was like, So yeah, it was a little, it wasn't the yarn shopping trip I had hoped it would be. So the store I did make it to is Friends and Fiber Work Epic Yarns and Fiber Arts Store. There's their card and information. They do sell online and she said they also sell on Amazon. Which is pretty cool. I was reasonable. I stuck to three skeins or three paints. And I'm pretty pleased with what I bought. There was a set that I really, 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 really wanted to, but I decided not to. So let me make sure I've got this right. Yes. This one is dyed by the owner's husband. And this is a 100% superwash merino sexy Gryffindor is the name of it. I didn't even realize that. So I might have to make myself a Gryffindor project out of it. But I love the, so it reads almost brown, but especially like back here with like this deeper blood shade. Uh, it reads almost brown and gold, but it is definitely garnet and gold. So I really love how that turned out or how that, I love how it looks. I didn't have any part of how it turned out. It's not my normal go-to colors, but for some reason I was thinking it's almost like a uh, tiger in the sun. I don't know why. Probably because that's like Pippin's colors, but a little bit darker. The next thing I got is dyed by one of the ladies who works there. This is Anne Marie Walters work. It's Smoky Mountain Fibers and that's her business card. And I saw quite a few things that were her work there in the store. I did, when I go into a store like this, uh, where I don't normally shop, I normally ask the shop owner or whoever's working that day, what's unique to your store. So of course, like the two groups of hand dyes were what she, she showed me. Plus there were a number of project bags that were handmade by people who either work in the shop or are local artisans. I decided just to stick with the yarn, but how pretty is that? Y'all pretty. And this is 75% superwash, 25% nylon, and it just says speckled yarns. So it doesn't have a, a fanciful color name or anything. Yeah, I think the, so the owner was there when I was there. And then the, the lady, there was a lady working 
And I think they were kind of surprised because I really wanted everything, but I stuck to just the three. Now, the next thing I got is from Hedgehog Fibers. And this is 90% merino, 10% nylon, and it's called Deep End. There was kind of a pink version of this one as well, and it was very hard to not buy purple. How beautiful is this? I'm just in love with that blue. Ah, ah. <laughs> It is so pretty, and I love how you've got the different shades of blue that are working through that. So I'm not sure what this is going to be or what this is going to be worked into. There is a fade sweater I've been thinking about trying to do, but that would be much, much later in the season or the year. But it's awfully tempting because that's just so. So pretty. I love hedgehog fibers anyway. I love the colors. They, they had a beautiful, it was very similar to a yarn I got last year from Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter. But it was more of the pink tones and less of the yellow. But the pops of yellow up against the fuchsia that they used for this. Oh, oh. Phenomenal. Absolutely in love. So that's what I actually bought. Please enjoy the pictures of the shop. And there are a couple little video clips in there, including looking down the wall of Malbrigo from the, when you see the clip, all that 50% up was all Malbrigo going straight down. Once again, very hard to not buy anything from that wall. I really wanted to stick to things that were more like local or just like screamed, you, you, you have to take me home. I don't know if I got a picture of the kit that I was looking at, but if I did, I will say this is the kit I was dying to, to get. It's $110. It's uh, four full skeins of yarn and then a couple minis, so it really wasn't that bad. But I don't need it. And if I just have to have it later, I can always call them and ask and, and have it sent to me or go to their website. why well, pay to store things. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lovely time in the shop. They were very, very helpful. They actually gave me a map. Uh, basically, it's a self-paced yarn curl map. And unfortunately, like I said, about you had stores that were closed, stores that were by appointment only, stores that were closed on Saturday. <laughs> it was just kind of a mess, but still had fun. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm not going to come back in here, but I love you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys. up here. Oy. So we're at the Blue Ridge Folk Art Museum and Gallery. They have the history of the Southern Highland Craft Guild. the planning and construction of the parkway. And then we have information about the southern section where we are now. Juvia, right there. There's the Biltmore. Then we have everything about preserving Southern Appalachian culture.
farming, agriculture, handcrafting. Time to head back home. Bye bye Asheville. It was fun. <laughs>